Hi guys. Well, it's a rainy day in Southern California. Can't complain though. It doesn't rain often here and we sure need the water. Won't be using the kayak today, that's for sure. Okay, so as the weather's a bit a bit wet outside today, I'm going to mess about with a, with a lock. I picked up one of these uh, disc brake locks for a motorcycle and there's a picture of a motorcycle. So they actually do recommend using these things on motorcycles which which I really don't. I wouldn't use it on anything personally but um, these things are selling by the thousands so there's obviously lots of people out there who are entrusting their valuable motorcycle or bicycle or scooter with one of these things uh, around about 15 bucks seems to be average right let's have a quick look at what they say about it right. 120 des decibel loud alarm water weatherproof where I'll, I'll dispute that but um, self-activating motion sensor da 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 material metal <laughs> well we'll look at that later all right so so here's mine we got it here so let's let's take a closer look at it um, I'll show you the operation of it and I'll show you what's inside and and then we'll get to work picking it and see actually how strong this thing is with a brute force attack. Comes with two keys. Uh, just show you the lock there. There's the lock. It's one of those newer type locks. If you can tell there, it's a seven pin tubular. But it doesn't have the notch out of the out of that um, bottom piece there, like a lot of other ones do. Well, anyway, let's let's put it on. Okay, so that beep there is it's armed itself. And I think that takes about five seconds, so now it's live, so if I move it, it gives a warning, and if I move it again, the alarm will go off, and fair warning, if you're wearing headphones, you might want to turn your volume down a little, because this thing is pretty loud. So to turn the alarm off, put your key in and unlock it. Okay, so that's how it works. Just a quick note for you lock pickers. You, um, you know all about these tubular lock picks. Well, you can't use these ones because as you see, yeah, find something to point with. As you see inside here, there's the round bar, the pin, because it goes into, that's designed for for the more common tubular lock. So you can't use them because the the pin gets in the way, there's no recess for it. There's no recess there for that, that pin gets in the way. You could pull the pin out I'm pretty sure I was gonna do that. I was gonna pull the pin out, but then I decided to buy one of these. And this one doesn't have the pin in in the middle there. See the difference? Yep, this one doesn't have the pin, this one does have the pin. So this one should fit inside here which it does but before we get to picking let's take a look inside let's take the cover off and take a look inside of it okay so these locks 
come with an allen key, an allen wrench and there's four screws to take out one, two and three see that there and four and that will take this cover off so I'll just get busy doing that Okay, so we've got the four screws out and there's the cover off. And the first thing that, that I really notice is uh, they say it's waterproof, but I don't see how it can be. I mean, it might be shower proof, but I wouldn't trust it in the downpour. Um, there is a bit of a rubber gasket here around this white plastic cube but the rest of it the rest of it is wide open let me get my flashlight and uh, these flashlights are awesome um, if you haven't got one you really ought to get one I've got a video on them so there's the inside of this thing and you can see there as you press the button down it's going to press this little arm down and and there's the button there so when we press the lock down it touches the button see so that's how that works now the batteries for this thing Okay, so they're in, he in here. That's it. That's the batteries out. Looks like there's, yep, there's six little batteries in there. And they're LR44s. So I guess you can get the batteries easy enough, but take six of them. Okay, so that that is it. That's the inside. I don't know if you can see the pin there. Yep, yes you can. Kind of a smallish pin. Um, I guess the smaller the pin, the more the more discs that it's going to fit. You know, between bicycles, scooters, and motorcycles. So there you go. That's the construction of it. Okay, so here's our picking tool. This one's made by Klom and it's a 7.8. Okay, let's reset the tool. Make sure it's at the start position. Let's push in the lock and lock it up. It's locked up. Let's insert our tool. No, put it in, give it a bit of a wiggle around, and there we go, it's unlocked. So that's how secure it is against picking. Not very, I'm sure you'll agree. But um, let's put it back together and I'm going to show you um, how vulnerable the alarm is. Because the alarm is really the, the um, thing people are interested in buying one of these, is for the alarm. And it appears to work pretty good um, initially, but um, let's have a look at how we can stop it being too noisy very easily. <laughs> okay, so the siren, the volume has to come out of this sealed metal box somewhere. And where it comes out is inside there, if you can see inside. There's two holes. Let's see if I can. There, you can see them there. I'll get my pointing stick, <laughs> my arm wrench. Those two holes there is where the volume comes out. Now, it can be easily silenced with 
a piece of duct tape across those holes that silences it down tremendously and you can fit the duct tape in there while it's on the disc okay so we've we've got a duct tape on tons of room there now we've set the alarm off that isn't very loud not very loud at all put a magnet on it silences it down tremendously to give you a few seconds to take the lock off to give a thief a few seconds and this is what we're showing you for because uh, we're demonstrating the vulnerabilities of of this lock also the alarm as it's going off there it goes off for 10 seconds and then shuts down that didn't even seem like 10 seconds maybe it's just five seconds but it shuts down there so that's the alarm silenced now I'm going to show you something I've just found out with this lock um, so let's give it a quick tap and see what happens I gotta go get my tapping tool okay got my tapping tool Whoop. <laughs> the magnet uh, took a liking to the tapping tool okay it's only a little hammer it's a jeweler's hammer tiny little hammer now the alarm's gone off watch this okay tap and tool see that <laughs> so, the, so don't go securing up your expensive bicycle moped or scooter or heaven forbid motorcycle is my advice but we're going to take it one step further and we're going to do what the thief would do and we're going to see how it holds up to a brutal physical attack because that's what thieves do mostly not many thieves bother picking or anything like that so anyway let's take this outside and let's get on with it okay let's fit the disc brake lock on and I'm putting it it's on all the way, as far as I can get it. And that's, that's pretty sensitive, that thing. Uh, if you know what that is, you're probably a firefighter or something like that. Just a wedge. And plenty of room to go in there. There you have it. <laughs> Didn't put up much of a fight. Let's take it inside and have a closer look at it. Plenty of room to go in there. Okay, we're back inside. So all we used was a a, a wedge of aluminum. <laughs> um, if you're a firefighter you've seen these things before because you use them they're used for forcible entry um, they're wedging and bashing at the side of doors uh, things like that so it can give them a bit of a spread so they can get bigger levers in so I mean this thing is ever so light and just a hammer you don't need a hammer as big as that it's just what, what I had handy but uh, that's how easy it is to bust into these this type of um, of disc brake lock I mean that that's how it fell on the ground one of the screws has just come out but that's how it fell on the ground and all it, when it says it's made of metal well they're not lying it is a form of metal but it's I call I call it pot metal. That's uh, that's crazy. <coughs> so I mean, these things are sold by the thousands. You look on eBay, and the seller after seller selling hundreds and hundreds of them. So throughout, you know, just take eBay alone. There's thousands of these things being sold. And generally, if you're putting a lock on something. 
it's because you value it and you want to keep it but um, I mean these things are designed for motorcycles and expensive bicycles with disc brake lock with disc brakes on them and scooters and stuff if you value it spend it spend a bit more money than 15 bucks on a on a on a lock and, and but I w will say be wary of this type of lock because I'd say probably 95% of them are made out of uh, zinc or some sort of pot metal just like this uh, or aluminum you know and it, it fractures ever so easy so uh, I think we're humiliated enough we've picked it we opened it with a jeweler's hammer we <laughs> and we've just destroyed it and we can make the um, alarm more silent just with a piece of duct tape or a magnet and I was hoping the alarm was going to go off when I smashed this off but it, it didn't because I, I had a cup of water ready and I'm sure if it submerged into a cup of water that would just kill it I want to give a quick shout out to Moorland Choppers that's a motorcycle shop at Solana Beach which is San Diego County uh, it's on the coast there Highway 101 awesome guys there they donated this uh, brake disc to the Jolly Peanut channel to make this video more realistic so again thanks to them guys alright catch you later guys mm -hmm.